In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a mouth sock or mouth cavity in 3D Coats Sculpt Workspace. So I have a model here that's in surface mode, and if you're already in voxel mode, that is much preferable. Anytime you're doing Boolean type operations, you can do it in surface mode, but sometimes you may get some type of self-intersection error, or it may take much longer. So that's why I typically like to try and take care of these things much earlier in the process rather than waiting until you're at the end stages of your sculpt where typically you would use live clay to do some dynamic tessellation and really fine detail sculpting. So I'm going to go ahead and try to create one here on this model again that has had some live clay work done and I'm just going to leave it as it is but I'm going to create a mouth sock in voxel mode to start off with convert it to surface mode and see if we have any troubles. Okay, so I'll create a new layer. Double click on it and name it um, mouth cavity. And I want to create another layer. I want to bring in a model of teeth and gums so I can kind of size it up a bit. Okay. So I'm going to go to my models palette and in my own personal folder that I designated for body parts I have a saved pair of teeth and a tongue. So I'm going to bring that in. Just click on it. And if you don't see it in your viewport, you may have to move out and look about it. Maybe there it is. It's a little higher in the viewport. And I'll hit my five key to go to an orthographic view and then top view. And I'll go to a frontal view. Sign view. Go back to the front. Pretty close. Come out of orthographic view by hitting the five key on the number pad again. And now I just want to click apply. So I'll hit draw. And on the head layer, I can ghost that by clicking on the second little icon. I'm actually going to hide the head for a moment. And I'll ghost the teeth model. And let's go to our objects section here of the tool panel. And we want to click on primitives. And you'll notice all of our primitives are here in the toolbar section rather than in the tool options panel. Okay, so let's try a freeform blob in our tool options panel. Let's choose something like 2x4. And your primitive will always be at the origin of the grid. So I'm going to have to move that up a bit. I'll click Transform Whole Lattice. Bring that up. And I might do something else. This one only gives me a few options here. I want a few more control points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find an object very similar to this with the with the Primitives tool active. I can choose any of my models and 3D Coat will use it as a freeform primitive. So I think I like that option a little bit better. So if you already have a mouth socket uh, you could quickly bring that in as a freeform primitive and then just quickly mold it uh, to fit the shape of your character. So let's try the default. Yeah, I've got something similar to it here. I think I'll try this capsule. That'll work. And this way I have better options 
for setting the different control points. I can use my slider to add points along a given axis, or I could enter the value numerically. So let's try three and I might try four on that one. So transform whole lattice. Gonna hide the teeth now, unhide the head. I'll switch to a freeform lasso to select these points. Let's go three by four by four. the shift key okay so let's select these bottom points Just massage some of these points here a little bit, that's about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit apply. And actually let me go to the adjust section. And as soon as I step out of this tool, I'll no longer see this apparatus here. So let's choose the move tool. I'll scroll to the bottom, choose Smooth All, let's choose Relax, increase the smoothing degree, and I have a hot key set for that. I'll try it again. There we go. So let me unhide the teeth and see how it fits. Pretty close. Okay. Now, if I want, I can massage this quite a bit more, but I think I'm just going to just tweak these areas here with the move tool, but I'm going to turn on symmetry. Oops, let me hide the teeth layer. The next thing I need to do is create a duplicate of this mouse sock layer in order to use it as a cutting device or a cutting object to subtract from the head layer. And with the one that remains, I'm going to use that to retopologize while it is separated from the head. Maybe use something like the build up brush. I'm also going to change the shader. Now hide the head. I just add a little bit to this just to slide them out. Hold the shift key and I'll smooth. It's a little bit strong. 
the lower the polygon level, the lower you want your smoothing degree because it will be pretty extreme if you have it all the way up. I may increase the resolution on that a little bit. I'll choose powerful smoothing. And that will alter the geometry a little bit while it's smoothing. So under the adjust section, I'll choose the move tool. 